Hey, he says here, and I'm in New England this whole summer, and today we went out to Oakland, New Jersey to come check out this new club called Ann Paddle. Come join me to interview the owner. Hey, hey Ash, how you doing, you. man? How's everything? Good? How's everything? Oh, I'm excited Good. to play here, man. It looks beautiful. Yeah, you know? yeah, like, yeah. Well. Thanks for coming today, of and course. hopefully, you we'll like the place. Definitely. Before we play, why don't you show us the whole place? 100%. He's our Juan, he's like the director of the program here. The culture, huh? The yeah. main culture. He's doing everything. He's the big guy oh, here. Day he's to the day, big huh? guy. <laughs> Let's go inside. Sure. Wow. So, yeah. Wow, look at the height of these ceilings, man. This is, oh my God, this is a paddle player's dream to play here, you know? Glad that you I like mean, it. I mean, how tall is that? It's a 40 feet ceiling height. 40 feet, holy cow. 40 so feet. how many courts do you guys have here? We have three courts, 40 feet ceiling height. The, the courts uh, manufactured from, from Spain. Okay, yeah, what brand are they? Is the manufacturer? Jobo, Jobo from Spain. How about the turf? What do you guys use for turf? M Mondo. Okay, Mondo. Mondo turf from okay, Spain. Great, that's yeah. great. This is our pro shop. Okay, so I see a lot of Adidas there. Are you just with Adidas and Wilson, or are you uh, you sell all all products? Okay, we we can sell all the products, but like we uh, we are mainly with uh, Adidas and Wilson. Okay, um, Adidas it's like the most famous brand in the the padel, and like they are in the market long uh, long years so far. And uh, Wilson is still like growing, but mm -hmm. like yeah, we just like so far we have like Wilson and Adidas only. Yeah, so they're, and, they're, uh, they're they're dominating the paddle, man. Yeah, the big yeah, guns in the paddle. Yeah, you know, they yeah. have a long history in the racket sports for yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, so do you guys have uh, bathroom showers uh, for men and women? Yes, we have uh, uh, four, ba four bathrooms. Okay. Uh, we have two lockers, one for the men's and one for the women's. Okay, wow, very spacious. We are, we are like yeah, finalizing it, you know? Very spacious. So, uh, so yeah, we have like the uh, bathroom inside. So you have a bathroom and shower in the future, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, showers in the future. I think that's so, really big, man, because yeah. you know, you work out, you're sweating, you yeah, know, 100%, you're gonna go out later, 100%, you just take a quick shower, 100%, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. This is the center court. Okay. Okay, and uh, yeah, this is the third court. So now is there room for expansion? Yes. So, as you see, it's like uh, uh, this brand new warehouse built in 2023. Okay. Uh, it's consisted from five separate units. Okay. So uh, the last two units were, was uh, uh, already uh, uh, leased. So we were lucky and we took the first the three. We demolished the walls. We connected all the three units together. So just like to make it easier for it's anyone. It's the height, man. Yeah. Big, global, big globals, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's that's great, man. That's the most difficult thing, I 100%. swear. 100%. It was hard to find like a, a place like this, you know? It took me like two years trying right, to find right, a place right. with like the high ceiling. So, so what's yeah. your idea for this space here? Okay, so we'll put like rubber mat here. Okay. It will be the stretching area. Like we'll put some uh, uh, equipment, so like uh, dumbbells, uh, bike, treadmill. So for the people like to warm up and to cool down. Uh -huh. And beside that, watching pedal. Gotcha. So, uh, so yeah, and this is like the uh, women locker room. Yeah, this is great, man. Okay, so now we're gonna Glad get into the like it. now we're gonna get into tough questions. All right, so let's come sit down and go. Let's back. do it. <laughs> okay, Ash. So how did you get into paddle? And where are you originally from? Okay, I'm originally from Egypt. Okay, and I moved uh, to the States in 2018. Um, like um, my main job, like uh, it's a squash coach. And uh, I started playing squash since I was eight years old. So this is like my background. So it's, uh, it's still in the field. It's like a racket sport. So um, I moved here that in uh, 2018 as uh, uh, the head coach of Corner Squash Academy. Uh, Corner Squash Academy, it's one of the best squash academies here in the US. Uh, our main goal in the academy is the, to help like the junior uh, squash players uh, to get a scholarship in the Ivy League. Gotcha. Colleges, so yeah. Every year we have like from two to three uh, players join the uh, the IV, um, and yeah, in uh, in 20, uh, 23 I joined the Team USA oh, nice. uh, as a squash coach. So wow. um, so yeah. So the idea of the paddle came. Um, so yeah, when were you introduced? How were you introduced to paddle? Did yeah. you always know about paddle, or uh, did you learn that here? Or okay. So uh, as, I, as I mentioned, like I'm originally from Egypt. Yeah. Uh, 
every year when I was taking a vacation, like there in Egypt, I saw like how like the sport grow so, so in like all the cities in Egypt. So where did you see it first, in Egypt? Yes, oh. I saw it first like in, in the beginning in Egypt. Uh, then yeah, every year I was taking a vacation, just see like it's, it becomes like uh, one of the most uh, famous sport in, the, uh, in Egypt. Then I started to, uh, uh, to do some research all over the world and I found that like it's one of the fastest growing sports sport. in the world. Yeah. Um, then after that, like um, uh, I was like traveling all over the world with the, either with like the uh, Team USA or like the, the the kids in our academy, and I saw like especially in Europe, it's getting crazy. Yeah, they uh, they are converting like the tennis courts to padel. Uh, everyone is playing the sport. Like the um, one of the tournaments I was there, I tried like to book the court. It was impossible. Right. Just like it's fully booked from yeah. like 7 a.m. to like 10 p.m. Yeah. Um, and yeah, also it now it's uh, uh, it started to grow in uh, in the Middle East as well, Dubai, yeah. uh, Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. uh, Qatar. So uh, so yeah, it's everywhere. Then like just uh, uh, I started to do some research here in the U.S. and uh, and yeah, I didn't find that much clubs here in the U.S. Maybe it's centralized mainly in Texas and Florida. Yeah. I know that like Texas has like 14 clubs and, yeah. uh, uh, and the Florida has like 12 or 13. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, but I didn't, I didn't find that many in the East Coast. Gotcha. So, uh, so yeah, from here I started like, you know, like... Uh, Say, I want to open up a paddle club. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> you get the passion hit you, right? Exactly. exactly. So how did you um, transition from squash to paddle? Because it is definitely a different game. Yeah. And... Uh, I'm still learning. <laughs> oh, you are, so... I'm still learning with gotcha. the movement. It's different, like the strategy is different. Right. Yeah, definitely I have like the, the racket skill, but like it's still like the game, it's different because like uh, the different. racket... Uh, the ball, like, you know, like it's different. Mm -hmm. I think, I believe that like the tennis players, uh, it's easier for them to, uh, to, uh, 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 to yeah. adjust, you yeah. know. Well, for they, this. They, they have difficulty with the walls. So, uh, uh, and, and, yeah. and your part of the ball is not, yeah. doesn't travel fast enough, you know, to yeah. really use the walls, you exactly. know. Exactly. And the ball doesn't move that fast. You yeah. have to go to the ball, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and you yeah. know, so then you have to, the wrist, but you have good hands. You develop good hands yes. and, and, yes. and, and squash. Yes. Um, so now uh, the big question, right? So wh what do you like better, paddle or, or squash? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh to be boy. honest, to be honest, because like I started like to, to get older in the age. Yeah. So uh, the squash started to be tough. Yeah. The, the squash started like, you know, it's uh, now it's hard. You need to stay fat all the time. It's uh, not easy on the joints. Right. On the other hand, the paddle, it's like, Easy on the joints, yes. easy to learn. Yeah. Um, every every day I'm practicing, I'm getting mm -hmm. way much better. Yeah. And you can uh, play at a higher level at one point, you know, a lower level, high level. You exactly. Can play, anybody can play. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So you decided, hey, I want to open up a paddle club, yes. right? You're looking in, in New York, but obviously, you know, you have difficulty with the ceilings, right? That's the biggest thing. Yeah. Find something here now. Is this? Uh, did you fund this yourself? Do you get seed money, or you have investors? How did you? put this thing together okay so we are four four co-founders okay um, I'm the only one who has like a, a racket sport like background Experience. okay and uh, the operator almost right yeah You're the operator. You're the operator. Yep. <laughs> so so yeah uh, then um, uh, I have uh, uh, Walid he's like a, a close friend of mine mm -hmm. he has a, a business a restaurant business in the city okay um, uh, David he is uh, um, uh, he's working in the uh, uh, financial institutions Okay. And we have Osman. He's like uh, he has like a, a, a construction background. So uh, so yeah, it's a mix, you okay. know. Uh, so kind of seed money. So everybody yes. puts some money. Okay, gotcha, yes. gotcha. Yeah. And all right. So what was the what was the plan? Because I think the biggest the biggest problem is right. You open up a club in Florida or Texas. Yeah. You open up and they will come. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Anywhere else, it's a little bit more difficult Definitely because it's yeah. you, you know you don't. Uh, people don't know about it. You need yeah. more exposure, education. A yeah. um, lot of people go through the route of putting together different verticals, right? Yeah. To kind of help yeah. with that long period of time of return on investment to yeah. filling up the courts, yeah. you know, because the courts have a lot of potential to make money. Yeah. But yeah. you got to get them in here, right? 100%. And that takes time in a new place that nobody knows battle, right? 100%. So, number one, 
is how do you do that? I mean, that's the biggest thing. Or, or how do you add more uh, different verticals to offset, you know, the yeah. cost and don't stress, you know, the, let's say the courts having to pay the overhead and make, yeah. they make the money. So yeah. which route did you go to and then how are you doing that? And where do you see that return on investment actually coming back? Okay, definitely like the, uh, that challenge part is like doing uh, a huge marketing. Okay. Because as you mentioned, like here in the in, in the U.S., not everyone, especially in the East Coast, not everyone knows about the the Patel. Yeah. Uh, they know the pickle more, yeah. the pickle bowl yep. more. Yep. Um, we started like to target like uh, uh, the the racket sports uh, uh, players. Okay. Like let's say like the tennis uh, uh, pros mm -hmm. around in the area, like the people like even they are playing mm -hmm. like the pickle. We invited them like to play for free. Yeah. Um, just like to know the sport, to know the rules. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like just like it's the. So how are you, how are you doing that? Uh, social media. Social definitely. media mostly. Uh, newspaper. Um, um, we like in the in the town they have like they help with us like a lot. Auckland town they are like very nice people like there. They help with us a lot. Uh, they allowed us like just like uh, um, uh, to have like a, a, a boost like in a, one of the, yeah. their festivals. Mm -hmm. So we are trying just like to uh, to spread the awareness of the sport right. like here in the town and like the uh, the uh, neighborhoods. So now in your in your plan, do you have any uh, other verticals that will bring in revenue to help? Uh, mainly like the court reservation, the, court the reservation, clinics, like it. the private sessions. Have, and, you, have yeah. you thought of that? Uh, and you think you're going to need to do that or you just want to focus on filling up the court? Um, like definitely we need like to do both, like definitely. Gotcha. But like as I told you, like the marketing, it's so important and especially in this stage. Right. Just like to, uh, uh, to to get all the people like inside, just like to know the sport. Yeah. And you know, you know, like definitely when you are playing the pedal, even like for the first time, once like you are in, you will look. hooked. Yeah, exactly. You're hooked. hooked. You're so, hooked. so that's the biggest thing, right? So, number one, the sport's more for an affluent, you know, yes. uh, a group. And yes. this is the next question. How much does it cost per hour uh, to rent a court? Yeah. Okay. So, our b business, like, uh, uh, plan or business model, we, like, we, the most important thing for us is just like, like, yeah, like just like the padel is for everyone. Uh -huh. So in our pr prices model, like we didn't go that much high. So we want oh, everyone like to play. So um, we have definitely like two packages if you are a member and like the membership. Okay. It's so, so let's go yeah. with no membership and then we'll go with prices with membership. Okay. So, it's so a member. for the n n non-members, they uh, uh, they uh, it's 160 per hour. Okay, one sixty per hour. So well, that's it, about forty dollars a person. Okay. Yes, and it, this is and, like. And, in but that, most people pay an hour and a half. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, but like, um, just like they definitely they can extend. Like so we like have, we have forty. So, so yeah, it's 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 a little pricey, right? I mean, uh, well, I mean, well, not compared to New York, I guess. <laughs> exactly, hundred <laughs> percent. So <laughs> you know, so your market is definitely going to be an affluent uh, market. You know, one who can because. You're gonna play two, three times a week. Yeah. So you're gonna be spending, you know, maybe a hundred and some odd dollars a week. Yeah. You know, that's maybe five hundred dollars a month. Yeah. So it, 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 like somebody like me plays three times, four times a week for yeah. sure. You know. Yeah. And what you want, obviously, uh, people to create habit, right? You want to create a community. Yeah. Right. And yeah. then you want habit. Yeah. So that they're gonna come in here two, three, four times a week. You this thing, get this thing full. Exactly. Right. Clinics, all those things. I'm sure yeah. you have that in, in your plans. Yeah. So that that is okay. So. Uh, now, uh, can you rent? Can you rent this for an hour and a half, or is it yeah. rentable an hour or only two hour? Uh, um, no it, spot. Okay, so we, we uh, our uh, our platform is Play by Point. Yep. So uh, we have our app. You can download mm -hmm. it from App Store or yep. Google uh, uh, Google Store, and um, and yeah, you just you just like by click you can m make the reservation, and like for how long you want, just like hour, hour and a half, hour fifteen, two hours. Mm -hmm. Um, and we have like open clinic, we have like uh, intermediate clinic, beginner clinic, open play, uh, ladies uh, 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 clinic. Uh -huh. um, so now, yeah. now, how much is your membership and then how much then would the court be per hour? Okay, so the membership, it's 120 per month. Okay. 
uh, there is no any uh, initiation fee, just like only 120. Okay, and then what are all the benefits to that? Um, uh, discounted prices in, uh, in everything, in the clinics, in the private sessions, in the pro shop sales, um, and for definitely for the court reservation. So how much which would a court it will be? Uh, uh, 30 per person, so this okay. means 120. Okay, 30 per person, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah that's, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's like pretty, pretty yeah. more reasonable. Now, um, okay, so there's that, there's the uh, discount on, on, uh, on the products, on what the kind of discount shop. do they, they get? They get up to 20%. 20%, up to 20%. On everything. Okay, On okay. like rackets, bags, both. And, uh, and they get a discount on the clinics, right? And, yes. And then uh, how, how much, how much discount do they get on the clinics? Um, it, it depends, like, there's like two hours of clinic, let's say, for the open play. Mm -hmm. uh, for two hours, they, like, uh, the members, the, like, they will pay uh, 40, okay. 45. Compared to non-members, which is? Uh, th this is, like, uh, uh, the non-members will pay uh, 60. 60, okay. So, uh, uh, how about the um, classes uh, with, with the pros? Uh, um, we have Juan, he's the director mm -hmm. of, the, uh, yeah. of the club here, and uh, for the non-members it's 150 per hour, okay. and for the members 120. Okay. And, and also definitely we have like semi-private, like if the, like three people want like the session, mm -hmm. so uh, for the semi-private, like the, the, uh, it's 65 per each yeah. uh, player, and for the uh, three persons it's uh, uh, 55, and for the uh, four persons a private session, it's a uh, uh, 45. Great, great, great. And so, so it's still like, you know, yeah. like it's reasonable, you know, yeah. like just like paying like 40 bucks, just like for our, you know, like actually you just like you, yeah. you buy, like you get like a coffee, yeah, a yeah, cup yeah. of coffee, like, you know, like now it's like more than that. That, that. that could be for us, but I mean, I think those are more than affluent. This is an affluent sport for sure. Yeah. Anything over $30, yeah. you know, uh, to play. And you, you know, obviously you got two, three times a week. It starts adding up. Yeah. And then you do tournaments, you do this. By the time you know it, you're spending yeah. 500 to $1,000 a month, you know? Yeah. And that's, you know, that's, you know, people will invest that in their health and, and everything, you know, but it is 100%. it is a certain market that's going to be able to, to, to afford yeah. that, you know. Yeah. Um, and, you know, that's what I see usually everywhere else, yeah. you know. So yeah. in your business plan, is there is there is there um, is it in there where you're going to buy other you're going to create other clubs once this is going? 100 percent. So 100%. how many clubs do you see yourself? Uh, um, we are just like definitely because it's the first time like mm -hmm. that to open like the Badel court so every day we are learning mm -hmm. you know so uh, so do you see yourself getting investors or VCs at that point 100% 100% gotcha. so well, uh, we could talk we yeah. can help you out there 100% <laughs> then you can like yeah we can yeah. Uh, I can definitely like uh, invite you in so where where is your where is your um the next project you think what location are you, are you looking at uh, Once this is, gets going and, you know, you've already experienced everything, yeah. you know what works, what doesn't work, yeah. you know, maybe adjust your model and now you're off to another state. We, we want to spread like the pedal in all the states. So I can't, I can't like just like say one specific state because I think like it's still like the, the, uh, a lot of states they don't, doesn't, doesn't have like still like pedal courts. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we just like uh, definitely it's so hard to find like a place with like a high ceiling. It's not easy. Yeah. You know, this is one of the most yeah. challenging part that like we had here. Uh, because if you find one, you can get in in six months. Exactly. Know, uh, six to ten months, you know. Exactly. You have and also build, getting the permits. If you build, that's a, that's a couple of years. Yeah, you know? like getting the permits. It's right, like right, it was right. like a, 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 that's the hardest it part. wasn't easy. That was the hardest part, sure. hundred percent. It wasn't because easy. Because you're like, what is this? What the hell is panel? Yeah. What is that? Yeah. You know, you got to probably educate the whole the whole board, like w w what the hell it that's, is. That's what exactly what happened. Yeah. Uh, I just like uh, I showed to them, to them on the screen, like what is the pedal? because like no one knows that yeah. like the pedal okay it's a pickleball no it's not a pickleball it's like pedal yeah. so i showed to them they like it so much we got uh, the acceptance of all the, the 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 boards and they told me just like once you will open like definitely will be there every day wow. so uh, they like they like the idea because like definitely you know like the zoning here it's different you have to get the, like the the the, the 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 permit for the uh, recreational yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, like to, you are changing yeah. the zone yeah it's a variance so in the, zone, yeah. the variance so um, it wasn't easy okay. uh, it took around uh, 5 to 6 months to get the acceptance Oh. Uh, well, that's not too bad. I, I, it's it's really? worse than other like, areas, <laughs> man. Yeah, it's yeah, definitely yeah. worse than other areas. You know what? Like Auckland, it's like nice. Uh, yeah. uh, nice I mean, town. in other areas, they're doing pop-ups because they, yeah. they they can't even 
get yeah. permits. It's yeah. like one year, two years, and like, let's just do a pop-up. You yeah. know, you get you get a quicker, and so we get the, the permanent one. You yeah. know, yeah. So we yeah. see that we see that a lot. So what what were besides the permits? What other challenges did you have here? Um, so far, as I told you, just like it's mainly to spread the awareness of the sport mm, to the people. The marketing this is part like of the it. marketing part. So do you do that yourself, or do you outsource that? Uh, we have uh, uh, we, ha we have like two uh, of our staff working on that, just like the marketing and the social media, okay. on like the uh, newspapers, like on the town. Okay. Uh, um, now we are uh, um, uh, trying like to just like to, to make a, a deals with the like schools. Oh yeah, after school uh, programs, stuff school like that. School programs, That's you know, like in September, like yeah, it's very they, smart. Yeah, uh, also like the uh, making deals with like the uh, companies around in the area. Yeah, corporate, yeah. Uh, corporate, like you know, just like to bring the employees there. Great like idea, just yeah. the events here, they yeah. can take like just like the the whole place. Yeah. Um, also, like we uh, are trying, like uh, to make like uh, deals with like uh, yoga instructors here mm -hmm. in the area, so yeah. she can just like do, uh, work, like take the court, and yeah. like, you know. When it's so, back, but yeah, yeah. Or during the day, that's a tough one during the day. Exactly, exactly. You know, yeah. um, during that's gonna be that's gonna, that's oh, that's the toughest thing. You know, mm -hmm. off hours, like during the day, everybody's working. You know, who, who's who's here? Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, you know. So nobody has perfected that yet. Yeah. You know, but. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I haven't even been able to figure that out, you yeah. know. So. so definitely, this is like that the most challenging part that yeah. we have now. Um, but yeah, like every new business, like you know. So how did you decide to go with with the, with the platform, software platform, with Play by Point? Because I know there's a few out there. There's Playtomic, Play by Point, and a couple other ones. How did you decide to go with uh, Play by Point? Um, I tried Play by Point as a customer before, mm -hmm, yeah. so uh, I think it's uh, uh, the easiest platform. Mm -hmm. uh, but you've, you've played in Europe and Egypt, and I'm sure there's Play Playtomic is one that dominates in that area, and yes. you've used it before, and they yes. have a leveling system and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah. So how did you how did you decide between, because when I go to Europe and South America, I, I play, use Playtomic, you yeah. know? I tried both, to be honest, but like uh, I like it more uh, Play by Point. Uh, also, I like so much like their customer service, like, you know, 24 hours, if you have any problem, right away, they are call they and call, yeah, Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So uh, they solve, uh, they solve like any issue right away. They are following up, you know, like every, every, uh, every two, three days, just a check in, everything is good. Do you have any problem? Right, 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 so, right. Uh, so that's, this is definitely, it's so important yeah. for us as like a owners of the place, just like to, uh, to deal with like a company like that has right. like the, the, the best customer service that's so important. Yeah. Beside that, they, uh, we have our app, as, mm -hmm. I, as I mentioned, so mm -hmm. uh, just like you can download it. So they yeah. help with us like in doing that. Yeah, and it works with them, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what we need more than this, you right, know. Right, so right. it's easy to use, like the uh, customer service is perfect. So, uh, so yeah. Okay, so now let's talk about your coach. Who, who do you have in here as your coach? We um, we have uh, uh, Juan. Okay. Juan, he's the director of the uh, uh, of the program here. Um, he uh, started like his background is tennis. He's like okay. uh, um, he started playing tennis since he was eight years old. Then he was uh, teaching in the college, and uh, and yeah, he uh, he loved it, and he wanted to switch uh, to padel. Uh -huh. Instead of the, of you the see, see a lot of that, right? One hundred percent. I don't know, like if you saw Djokovic like two or three days yeah, he ago. Did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, he, he he's talking. worried at a club level, yeah. and he's right at a club yeah. level because the clubs that I see in New England, uh, the tennis clubs, they're yeah. they're like Converting leasing it. everything out. It's, there used to be like yeah. twelve courts. Now there's like two, and the rest is all leased out because exactly. they're having difficulty. It's kind of in a club level, it's kind of a dying sport. Yes, but in a club level paddle, it is growing yeah and yeah. i haven't seen you know these convert to paddle clubs yet you yeah. know in connecticut i i assume they definitely will yeah you know um yeah. because i mean as as more clubs open they're going to realize that yeah people are going to be asking you have put paddle you have paddle and then yeah. they're gonna be, no no okay yeah. maybe i should put some in yeah, there, yeah you know? exactly so uh so i agree like the tennis game now it's uh, become like you know just like tough to watch tennis match four hours sitting on the yeah. TV, just like watching like a tennis match so definitely I agree with him that they need to do some uh, 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 modification to the game just like to make it easier more than this you know mm -hmm. um, 
So yeah, but like actually we got the benefit from uh, his interview, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so all right, yeah. sounds good, Ash. Uh, thank you for, for the interview. You know what I'm saying? You have a beautiful and an amazing place. Uh, if you guys are local here in New Jersey, you gotta come check it out and come play some paddle. Thank you so much. So how's your paddle? Do you, you, at what level do you think you are? Are you, you good? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe I'm uh, between 3.5 three and 4. But 3.5 for New England or Miami or Europe? Uh, here, <laughs> here, here in end paddle. <laughs> so what do you find difficult? What's your, you know, the aerial uh, shots, bandeja, la vibora, like the vajala, the aerial shots, or what is, uh, what are you finding a little okay. difficult? Okay, um, in the squash, like we are using our wrist. Yeah. Uh, in defense, you use a little bit the wrist to get the ball out. Yes, you that's know, the, that, you know, a little bit, that's especially true. the rackets that like, go in and out. That that's helpful. true, but like, you know, just like to adjust when to use your wrist and when to use the follow through or like to finish the swing. Mm -hmm. This is like, I'm, I'm, I'm right. still learning. Because squash, that. you're like, whoosh, right? Yeah, and like you hold, use like to flick, mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah. you know, like to flick. Just but that's going to help you with a vibra. Yeah, you know also we are good in slicing the ball, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially from the backhand. So you slice, slice too much, yes. right? Yes, so you exactly. slice too much. So there's, a slice, there's a slicer here, right? <laughs> I'm the slice yeah. man. Yeah, you got to know when to slice. When it's above your shoulder, go yeah. ahead. But if it's below, it's getting low. Yeah. yeah. How about the back walls? Uh, in the beginning, the first time I played the uh, uh, pedal. You used to step on the baseline to avoid the back wall. <laughs> <laughs> One of those, right? No, no. In, in the beginning, in the beginning, like when, when the ball was like uh, 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 touching the glass, I was just uh, uh, standing too close to the glass, yeah. waiting for the ball just to bounce. Yeah. But like once the ball hit the glass, the ball went like toward the net. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so it's different. Yeah, yeah. You, so you have to, yeah, you have to have be able to adjust. participate and adjust. Yeah, the back wall. That's so, the biggest uh, thing. so like now, now I'm reading the shot. Like once the ball, when someone will smack the ball or hit the ball hard. When the ball, like we hit the glass, I'm moving forward. Right, so, you know? right, right. So, so you also, also the movement, I was struggling a little bit in the movement. Uh, I have like tennis, like background in playing the doubles, mm -hmm. but like here is different because you are moving with your partner uh, uh, either yeah, forward because, because or it's backward. Not, because together. it's not really doubles; it's a team sport. Yes, that's a big. People think, okay, oh, there's singles. Or, no, this is a team sport. The yeah. left. You has the responsibility and the right has it and you're playing as a team together. Yeah. You know, yeah. so yeah, yeah, that's that's new. I'm sure yeah. people come in with a misconception of like, oh, it's a doubles and singles, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so what's your favorite shot? What, what do you enjoy shooting? Definitely yeah. the volley. The, the, oh, oh, I love okay. to, oh, like, the volley, to volley, the volley. To okay. volley and the ball, like, uh, uh, get out of the court. Oh, el por tres. <laughs> yes. El por tres or, la, la, or el por cuatro, you know? Yeah. Yeah, 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 nice. So maybe we should play. You want to play? You want to? Wanna... Let's I, do I, it. I need 10 minutes to stretch, though. <laughs> <laughs> We are all things paddle.